What's up guys? Welcome to the new Rockon vlog and today is a very very special day for me and definitely also for you. As you can clearly see we are in a special location with lots of legendary KTM bikes in the background that belongs to some KTM champions and it's a very special bike behind me and we are in the KTM Moto Hall. So today I'm gonna show you our craziest build so far. We really put blood, sweat and tears into that build off and we created a brand new 2020 freestyle bike. It's under the curtain for now. That's not the only surprise for you. We have one dedicated surprise for you rockers and enough of talking. So let me show you my new freestyle bike. Back in 2017 we built my first KTM Duke 250 stunt bike and we changed a lot of parts and setup through the last years but we needed to breathe a fresh air to it and uh, adjust some stuff to bring my tricks to the next level. So that's the new bike and let me show you what we did to it. first thing that definitely sticks out is the color of the bike. We went away a bit from the flashy colors and we decided for more darker tones and we painted all the plastics in the gray color and then we created a sticker kit that fits to that uh, background so we went on the two-tone uh, gray color and we still left some blue lines since this is part of our uh, signature definitely some orange and definitely some rock on pattern and all that in matte finish so it really fits perfectly i really love that design and i'm already dropping the first big news you can get that sticker kit for your bike we made a replica sticker kit that fits perfectly to the orange base and the white base So you can find this sticker kit on our online shop or in the description below and you can get that sticker kit for your Duke. The next thing that we customized were the rim edges and we painted them orange to round up the whole design. Since we went so crazy with the style of the bike, we didn't want to left out the seats this time. So we also pimped those ones and we added, as you can clearly see, a very nice neon orange uh, stitching and we changed the uh, materials so it has more grip when I jump around on the seat and it really looks dope, man. I really love the, the seats. Okay, let's do it like this. Dominic, tell me what is your favorite thing on the, on the bike? Uh, besides the cool color, it's definitely the back wheel. There is a lot of stuff on the back wheel. It's the carbon plate. Carbon. Okay, probably a lot of you guys are watching already since we started that vlog on the back wheel. So let's move to the back. This is your favorite, right? Yes. 
the carbon plate. Yeah, with that idea, Zeitz Master really blew my mind when he came up with that. And he took this inspiration from the super bike racing and the MotoGP bikes, uh, where they use that for aerodynamics. But we use it here just for the style and also actually for the safety. In case I crash in a very weird way, I cannot hit or stuck my hand into the rear wheel. So it's also a, like a safety feature, but all in all, it looks dope. I really love that carbon plate. And thanks to Akrapovic guys, they uh, actually make that carbon and cut them out with a laser cutter and it really came out perfectly. It really fits as it should be. Since we are already here, uh, let's continue to the brake setup. So for the next season, we changed my brake setup. In the past, I had a very big disc, 280 millimeters, and we went back to the stock size. Uh, we just added a racing brake disc from Motomaster, which really works perfectly on the high heat and the stress that I'm giving to the brakes. Then we added another uh, brake caliper. That's actually the same what I had in the past. Uh, the difference is I'm now using a stock uh, foot brake caliper, and all that, it makes the whole braking much smoother and it's not so aggressive anymore on the slow tricks so it really works perfectly and uh, we are using in both calipers sintered brake pads so it gives me enough bite when i need it but it's still not too aggressive because we have a smaller disc that's my new brake setup and i really love it it's strong enough but still smooth My chair. <laughs> the next important part that we customized is the stun tank. And what we did to it is we take the original one, we cut it away and we welded a nice slate to it and we designed a seat out of it. So I can sit on it and stand on it. And on top of that, we have a grip tape so I don't slip away when I have uh, shows in the wet conditions. So the stun tank is a crucial part of each of our stunt bike builds. And this beautiful bike, it's a stunt bike, which means we're gonna have a lot of crashes. So we need to protect it. Let me show you how we did it. Oh man, I need to wake up, it's still early morning and we have so much parts of that bike. Whew. Okay guys, so as I said, protection. The setup that we use for protecting my bike is the adjustable sub cage. As the name already said, it's adjustable and it's uh, from Bagarish Performance, from my team. And the next thing is the front packs. And another thing that we need to protect is the engine, is the KTM Power Parts clutch and engine cover. And it really works perfectly. When you destroy this CNC machine part, you can actually just replace it. So this is how I protect my bike and it works really perfectly. I would really recommend to each of you to use a adjustable sub cage and a KTM Power Parts or the engine covers or their crash cages. And if you have this combination, it really protects your bike perfectly. Uh, next part, Dominic where should we continue let's go to the handlebars on the left side you see a lot of levers on the bottom is my second rear brake which is a standard to all the stunt bikes to control the tricks and the balance and for that I'm using the Magura HC1 13 mm radial master above is the Bagarish performance easy pull clutch and I'm using both of those levers at the same time when I'm doing tricks on the top is the second throttle or the idle control so I can do the no hand tricks and other acrobatic tricks where I don't need my hands on the handlebar. On the right side I have a KTM adjustable brake lever and it sits on the OEM brake pump and to round the, everything up and make nicer we used a bit of bling bling KTM power parts CNC machined cover. All those controls sit on my Magura Rock Bagarish handlebar. It's much stronger than the stock one. It has less back sweep, so it's more straighter. It's, uh, you have more control when you're doing tricks. And, of course, in a black finish. So, this is my handlebar setup. Without a wheelie bar, there is no stunt bike. So, that's why we have a wheelie bar on it. But no, I, I need it for stand on it. So, we have a grip tape on it and also a scrape plate out of titanium for lots of lots of sparks when I scrape on it. So, yeah, that's the wheelie bar. Let's go to the next part. The whole bike sits on the Avon tires and on the rear, I'm using a 3D Ultra Sport. And on the front, I'm using the Avon Spirit tire. 
A cool looking bike needs also a cool sound, right? So a Krapovic exhaust again, as all on all my stunt bikes. Uh, actually, we didn't change a lot, or I would say we didn't change nothing on that exhaust since we really made specifically for that engine a really cool and good working exhaust. It's just a fresh exhaust, it's a full system, it's not a slip-on. And if you want to see how we build that exhaust, you can click here. There is a vlog. So if you are a fan of weld porn, enjoy the vlog. If you watch our vlogs, you know that I'm using a 56 Bugger Performance Sprocket for smoother wheelies and I'm protecting my fingers in case of a crash so I don't cut them away with a toe guard. For my stoppy game, I need a very good front brake and for that we upgraded the stock brake disc with a Motomaster disc. It's a 320 mm floating disc and it looks wild, I know, and it also works like that. It really buys when you need it. And on top of that, we are using Motomaster sintered brake pads and this brake setup proved itself in the recent two years that it works perfectly. Okay guys, that's my new 2020 stunt bike and another sick stunt bike build is in the books and I cannot wait to make the first show with that bike and to see the reaction of the people and to see actually also the reaction what you say about my stunt bike now on the YouTube. So drop some comments below what you think about it and what you would maybe change or, the, or what you like on the bike. And that's not the end of the vlog, I have another big surprise for you. Are you ready? In three, two, one. Bam! You can guess what it is. It's a new year, which means we have a new design for the helmets. Let me show you how they look like. Okay, Dominic, which one first? The off-road or the street one? The street. Okay. Drum rolls, boom! <laughs> Sick, right? Oh, yeah. Do you see? Same, same. Same, same, but different. No different, it's the same. <laughs> And the off-road, da -da -da -da. drum rolls, drum rolls, da -da. boom, brand new 2020 Rock-On Scorpion Exo helmets. Okay, the street helmet, the Scorpion Exo 490 Rock-On edition. It comes in a very nice matte finish and it has the orange style to it. That means that it fits really perfectly to all KTM riders. You can add a nice tinted visor for a cooler look. It has also integrated sun visor in it, uh, all the vents. So in the hot weather, you can breathe better and have some fresh air in the helmet. And yeah, it just looks really amazing. Really Scorpion Exo outdone themselves. So that's the street version. So the off-road version, the Scorpion Exo VX16 in Rock-On style. It has a similar or the same style as the street helmet with a nice Rock-On lettering here, also orange. So it fits to your KTM motocross bike or a super motorbike. Uh, so even if you ride with the off-road helmet on a Duke bike. Uh, so I really love it. It has an adjustable visor. And what I really like is this system, the pump here. So you can pump your cheeks up so it fits perfectly. You can remove the inner lining so, and wash them when you sweat too much on, in the helmet. And yeah, all in all, I love that style too. It's for me hard to choose which one. Dominic, which one would you choose if you would ride a bike? The off-road one. The off-road one? Yeah. For me it looks more rock and roll. Okay. <laughs> you want to have it? I want to have a bike. You want to have the bike. But do you have a driving license or you have the same problem as Mariana? Of course I have it. You have? You, I, I'm not sure. Okay guys, that's not the last uh, surprise. Since we are in a KTM Moto Hall, it's a very epic place, so they have some amazing bikes there. So let's go check them out and let me show you the one last surprise for you. For 
all that still don't know what KTM Moto Hall is, it's actually a brand new museum that opened its doors this year and it's a perfect place for all the motorsport fans and definitely KTM fans and you have a lot of cool stuff to see from its early beginnings uh, of the KTM brand and the first bike that rolled out on the streets to the latest and newest off-road or street bikes and one of the corners that I personally really like is this corner here where we have prototype bikes that we always see on the big expos as a teaser what comes and why is it so fun for me because here are two bikes that excited me for the KDM brand Dominic do you know this legendary bike yes I remember it it's a 125 Duke. Do you remember the prototype bikes? It was two bikes actually. One was the race version and do you remember the stunt version, the 125? Just from the pictures. It was kind of greenish if I remember. Maybe you can play the picture in the vlog here. And exactly that bike made me so excited about the whole KTM brand. And it gave me the idea to go from the scooter stunts to a bike. And it was the perfect transition from a low CC scooter to a bit bigger but but not too big CC bike so I can really learn the tricks step by step and that was do you remember the time when we first picked up the KDM bike the 125 prototype that was like in 2010 winter do you remember it was a snowstorm outside yes and you trained in the winter true so we needed to film a video how i pick up my first ktm bike but it was a snowstorm outside so we went to shoot in the factory itself you can check the video right now memories right I mean nine years ago I was much younger and I had a wild haircut also uh, just amazing memories it makes me so proud to be a part of KTM family and for nine straight years so next year we're gonna have 10 years that I'm a factory rider so I'm super proud of me I'm super proud of you Dominic we started together and we are still filming and traveling the world so it's just amazing it gives me chills when I talk about it so this is the 125 Duke and after three years the six 90 you came out so that's a prototype and they made a prototype based on a stunt bike so it's a huge homage to stunt riders and this makes me again super proud to be a stunt rider and to see a company that uh, respects this sport and takes a lot of influence from our sport and to make this kind of cool bike so let's enjoy some art shots of that bike prototype section to the street legal section actually i'm standing to very awesome bikes the early beginnings of the dukes that's the duke 2 a few steps behind me is the duke 620 that came out 1994 maybe you know maybe not but it's 25 years of dukes and i'm super honored to be a big part of that progression and the history the progression on the technology progression on the style yeah i always love that section too here you can see in the motor hall the first duke and to the last the latest duke that it's out so let's go over there where are the dukes that i'm actually also riding in my vlogs The new Duke range from the Super Duke up to the 125 Duke, the Spawn Duke range got you covered. Doesn't matter if you want to travel short distances, long distances, or you want to hit some laps on the racetrack. You have a Duke for every type of rider. And this is what I also love on my Dukes. They are super light. They have perfect power distribution, smooth. I can make the tricks that I want. 
And do you remember I promised you a one more surprise? Let me show you what I got for you. To celebrate these 25 years of Dukes, we stick our heads together with KTM and I told them I want to make a very cool giveaway for our Dukers. So they said, Rock, no problem, let's do it. And they gave us to give away, be ready guys, this big KTM travel bag, this cool backpack, a cap, a shirt, the same one that I'm wearing in this vlog today, and a hoodie in the same style. So all you need to do is hit the subscribe button, share the vlog, and tell me what is your most memorable KTM experience. And if you don't own a KTM, which KTM would you like to have and what you would do with it? And we're gonna choose one winner out of top 10 most liked comments. And yeah, I hope I'm gonna see a lot of comments and good luck to you guys. And we are on the end of the vlog, unfortunately, guys. So if you want also to come to the KTM Moto Hall and see the history of KTM bikes, you can find the link in the description. That's it. I love my stunt bike. I need to go now to ride it, practice with it, get ready for the next season. So see you in the next one. Until then, rock on.